What's up guys, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to another very exciting Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Lumetri Color Panel to grade our footage and we'll look at how we can improve the skin tone. And guys, if you have any confusion around the Lumetri Color Panel or around the Lumetri Scopes, then I would highly recommend you to watch the previous tutorials as we've discussed all of this stuff extensively in our previous tutorials. So I have this footage on my timeline which looks very flat. The backdrop is full of wrinkles and I can straight away spot that her skin tone doesn't look perfect too so let's go ahead and try to fix these things so i'm going to start with some basic correction and for that uh, i am going to go in my lumetri color panel and that the basic correction tab but first of all i'm just going to bring up my luma waveform monitor uh, which is now here so let's go to our basic correction tab and start making some changes so let's first bring the exposure down a bit so I think this is okay and uh, I mean it, at the moment it just looks too bright so I think this is fine now and then I'm going to increase the contrast as well uh, okay I think this is fine and now let's bring the highlights down too okay uh, yeah cool and now I'm just going to increase the shadows very very slightly uh, yeah that's it. i mean yeah it looks so fine and now let's bring the whites down too uh cool it looks okay now and uh, i'm gonna increase the blacks as well okay fine i think this is okay is it yeah okay cool so now let's see the before and after by turning the effect off and on again and guys i think it's already looking a lot better okay so now i'm just gonna increase saturation by a tiny tiny bit because it's now lacking that glow so hopefully increasing saturation will bring that back a bit and uh, now let's drag the temperature slider towards a bit of blue and i think it looks okay and the turn towards a bit of magenta and uh, now let's see again the before and after and guys the difference is so much clearer now okay so i'm now gonna go into my rgb curves and we'll also bring the rgb parade so let me do that and uh, let me get rid of the waveform monitor okay so the first thing i'm gonna do here is increase the highlights by just a bit and bring the shadows down so you can see that we have this s curve that we talked about in the previous tutorial Okay, and we can see in the RGB parade that our red channel is much bigger, much higher than the other ones. So let's just do some color balancing as well. So I'm gonna bring the reds down very slightly and I think it's okay now. Yeah, it looks fine. And yeah, okay. And now I'm gonna do a minor increase to the blues as well. So yeah, okay. Cool, and I think our RGB parade looks much better now. Cool, so let's see the before and after. And uh, guys, I mean, we can see it's looking so much better, but we still need to fix the skin because while making all the other changes, we just made the whole skin tone very dull and kind of pale as well. So let's go to the HSL secondary tab and fix this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring my vector scope up and get rid of the RGB parade. So let me just do that. And uh, okay, so I've got my vector scope over here. Now let me select her skin hue, and I can do that very easily by using these eyedroppers over here. And uh, I'm gonna pick the first one and we'll select her forehead. And now I'm gonna pick the other one and we'll select the rest of her face, her neck, and her forearm. I think that looks all good. Okay, so guys, now that I've selected her skin hue, let's just tick this grayscale box to see what we've selected. And I think it all looks okay, it all looks fine. Yeah, it's all good. So guys, now you can see that I have my vector scope open here, which is the most, like, the most helpful and most useful scope when you are addressing skin tone issues. A general rule is that this straight line separating yellow and red is the skin tone line. So right now, as you can see that I have only selected her skin hue and in the vector scope it's perfectly aligned with this line which tells us that there isn't anything like massively wrong with her skin tone. If our hue was kind of going completely towards red or yellow or 
far from this line then it would take us a lot longer to fix it but right now the skin hue is already on this line so we'll just have to kind of make some minor adjustments so let's do that so i'm going to come down here in this color wheel and we'll move this plus sign towards a bit of magenta and i think it looks okay now yeah that's fine guys i'm I mean, you will kind of have to do this again and again just to make sure that you find that right spot. Uh, I think this is okay now. Yeah, this looks fine. It's not too red and our vector scope is telling us the right as well. Okay, and now I'm just going to move this slider up too, just a bit. Okay, I think this is okay. And now let's remove some noise and, and increase the blurriness as well okay cool so guys i mean if you want to kind of adjust your midtones highlights and shadows individually you can always click on this icon over here and you can make changes to all these items individually i think i'm i mean i'm happy with this right now so i'm now just going to turn off the hsl secondary effect and see what difference we have made to the skin tone okay and guys you can see that her skin tone looks much much better now in fact let me just turn the whole numeric effect off and see what we've done here okay and okay cool so guys this is what we've done i think it looks great now and i can't see any issues with it anymore i mean we have fixed the wrinkly backdrop we have fixed i mean the flatness of this clip we i mean we've improved her skin tone as well so guys this is how you can kind of grade your footage this is how you can fix the skin tone and remember that your vector scope will be the best guide in this and this line separating the red and yellow color represents the skin hue so when fixing skin tone ideally your hue i mean your skin hue should be on this line i mean as i said before it can go slightly towards either of these colors but you just have to be careful you just have to make sure that it's not completely going towards red or yellow and also it's not too far from this line so guys that's really it from me i hope you found this tutorial useful and as always if you have any questions any comments feel free to drop those in the comment section and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible i'm now going to see you in the next one so till then you take care of yourself